Uh, this is Farah Farin. This is a name that I gave to myself to a new me. Uh, I was born as Farid. People know me by that name for long. They consider me as a boy, but I'm a woman, a complete woman from inside. I'm a trans woman and I had to fight, uh, express, and hold this identity. Still, I'm suffering uh, at every day every moment. This fight from my family to spread. I understand it is a challenge for them as well to accept me and change my identity. But this is who I am. This is truth of mine. My family always tortured me, abused me. They wanted to make me a man as the way I was born. They used to bring religious and emotional blackmail me so that I can convert again as a man. I was bullied in my school, college and university. Wherever I will go to a public transport, shopping malls, I see hate and disgust, hospital, police station, public services offices. I am treated as a Jew animal. One day I went to at a hospital for my healthcare services. I was really confused regarding the behaviors of guards and receptionists. First of all, the guards did not allow me in the hospital. Uh, he did not get allow me because I am a transgender, but I am a trans woman. After that, I argued with him. Then he allowed me to get in the hospital. The receptionist sent me a male doctor, but I didn't prefer and I don't want to that male doctor will touch my body because I am a woman. After that, the male doctor send me a women doctor but uh, the women doctor she doesn't know how she will uh, provide a service she didn't aware about the gender and gender identity actually this kind of situation I really faced but uh, I have a question how I will overcome how I will address this kind of situation in future after I started wearing female clothes I see this sexual desire in the people, uh, people's eyes. Sometimes they will give uh, hints uh, to have sex. Uh, they know we don't have any social protection, no system of support us. I have been molested many times for this situation. I have completed a master's degree in management subject. Uh, after completing the course, one day I went to my university to get a recommendation letter for my job purpose. But they did not agree to give any recommendation letter due to my gender identity because I am a trans woman. Being a trans woman, I don't see there is any human rights for me. I am considering a criminal in a country. The common law does not protect us, rather uh, it makes suffer us. I am a bit happy that organization like Bondu is working for the people uh, like us. They are trying human rights, healthcare, life skill, legal aid and counseling. But Bondu alone cannot bring the whole change uh, in the society. We need more help. During the COVID-19 pandemic situation, Bondu supported a lot to me. I had a job at Bondu, therefore I could able to survive my life during the pandemic situation. And others also got support from Bondu like me as well. People need to feel our pain. There is a misconception about us. This is our basic rights. We need equal opportunity and we work together for the better improvement of the society.